This will do. Hey, um, can I please get a flat white, just a medium size? Uh, I'll, I'll have it here, yeah. Oh, we made it, guys. Anyway, can we just talk about the state of like, getting a job right now in New York City and to be honest around the American job market like I've heard it's pretty hard what's that uh, West Turns down this way yeah yeah only like one block thanks a lot man West Tent right yeah I'm a local guy see I know what I'm talking about like think about it if you're getting employed or you're employing someone do you want to see a calculator and a random number generator and then you're gonna go yeah this guy is equipped to build my full stack application or like work on my entire front end or be responsible for the entire back end like no and so I think there's almost like this I know I talk about a lot just like building projects and putting them on your portfolio but like, the reason I say that is because that's all it is, but then at the same time, that's not all it is. They need to be good projects. They need to be stuff that's actually like interesting, impressive. Like if I'm going onto your GitHub portfolio, your profile, I want to know within like five seconds, the main languages you're capable of, like developing and coding in. And I can see that through GitHub. It gives you like a breakdown in each repository, like what the main languages were. I want to see how you're writing code, whether it's like in a tidy, neat, linted way that's actually readable. I want to see if it's like building and deployed. Like if you can deploy stuff, like guys, it's never been easier to deploy something. Like just create a Vercel account and instantly you're like deploying a Next.js project, for example. Get your stuff out there. Put your projects out there, make them interesting. And I always have, if people have asked, I've always given the advice, like build projects that make people actually go, whoa, this is sick. And a great example is like, if you're working towards like getting a job at somewhere that's like, for example, video streaming, Netflix, I don't know. Personally, I have no experience interviewing at Netflix or anything like that. But if I was going to do it, I would be building specifically like video streaming type projects. Just makes sense. It's kind of like on your job application for anything in life, you do applicable experience. And I feel like there's been this like mismatch in the job market, especially for like juniors coming in where there's, there's no like applicable content to show for the jobs you're applying for, if that means, does that make sense? Yeah. So anyway, long story short, build projects, but make them like stand out from the rest. I don't want to see calculators. I don't want to see like random number generators. I want to see you've built YouTube, like, or you've built Netflix. Like you've, you've done something that's actually like impressive to look at. It should be fully responsive. It should be like really fast. It should be clean. It should look like it was well designed. It's not even hard to design it. You just copy it off the site. But that'll show your CSS skills as well. So there's like a few things in there. So yeah, I mean, that's all I can say. I'm, I'm just gonna check on this coffee because I don't know if it's actually even, I might have to go grab it. Mission success, guys. Second thing, um, actually like getting jobs, which is the second part, once you've done projects and applying, I've heard right now that it's like pretty tough out there. I gotta be careful how I say this because I've been like semi lucky with some of the positions that I've landed. But at the same time, like I can't just like say that it's all down to luck. Like sometimes it really has been because I've just put myself in the right positions because I knew that I needed to stand out from the rest. And I think, yes, there's gonna be a tough job market for a while if there is, uh, which it sounds like there is, but then everything is just like ebb and flow right like if it's a tough job market now it's going to get pretty easy in maybe a year or two so i wouldn't be worried thinking like oh my gosh ai is taking over like that's why there's no jobs or like oh i'm never going to be able to get a job now because the job market's too tough like things even flow 
opportunities come around. And like, this is why I always emphasize like building projects and doing stuff that makes you stand out because then you're actually gonna stand out and you have much higher chance of getting a job. I don't know where the stats are coming from, by the way, where it's like the job market's really hard for most people. I don't know how they actually like track that. I know there's been a lot of layoffs. Obviously that sucks. Like, yeah, that really sucks. So I feel for all those people. Um, but it's not game over. There's always gonna be another opportunity around the corner. There's always gonna be like, for example, an opportunity for you to like, if you can, build a startup like yourself, like start working on something, get some friends around and just start building. It's one of the funnest things you can do. I went from like a larger company in Auckland, New Zealand to this tiny startup here in New York. Like, ironically, like tiny city to big city, but big business to small business. And it's so cool, like it's liberating. Like you get to work on cool stuff every day that like is impactful to the team, to the business, and like, yeah. A lot of cool things about startups. I also feel like it's never been easier to get funding. Like, I... <laughs> This is dev chat, guys, okay? So this is just a conversation. This is not a, uh, I know everything and I am the expert, because I am not. I am not the expert at all. I've got some experience, but I am no way an expert. I just know of like my experience, what I know. And all I can say is that if you're building a startup that actually achieves a problem, like solves a problem for people that like would pay money for it, or it's gonna be like valuable somehow, investors pay for that. Um, so, yeah, why not try a startup? You can always just like fail. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking hell, it's so cold. <laughs> Drinking this coffee out here because I can't film inside. It's too loud, there's too many people. If you take anything I say, the job market, I feel like it links back to the first point, which is how are you standing out? Like, what are you doing that's different from the rest? Are you simply doing the same leech code problems that every other Microsoft engineer is doing? Or are you building valuable projects that are interesting and fascinating for interviewers <laughs> to look at? And are you putting those forward in front of those right people? I mean, if I got laid off today, the first thing I'd be doing is just like filling my GitHub full of the sickest projects ever. I would be laying them out on a way on my like jacobinner.com domain that looks nice that is attractive and appealing. And then I'll just be like networking and applying to as many things on LinkedIn as I can possibly see that are in a field that I'd be interested in, interested in working in. It's nothing worse than like applying for jobs that you don't even know what they are. You're just like clicking apply, like one click apply on LinkedIn and then you get the callback and then it's like, oh no, this is weird. It's like working in some language. It's not even like React or like, like it's something that only like 0.0001% of the world even uses. Yeah, you don't want that. Apply to jobs that are actually meaningful to you. But that's what I do. I just build projects. I feel like it's all I say these days, build projects. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. It's such an easy way to like make yourself stand out because no one does it well. I don't know why. Yeah. Plan for today. And I know that this like format has changed up a bit because ever since I got back, I got this wireless mic. I had the mic that was sitting on top of the camera. This is just like, if you're not interested in like tech gear, which I know you all are, you're all engineers, so you already love tech. But if you're not interested, you can skip past this. But I used to have this like shotgun mic on top of my camera. And the problem was, if I was sitting the distance I am away from the camera right now, and I, like I was talking, you wouldn't be able to hear it. It's too loud out here. It would compress weird. And yeah, so anyway, I thought I'd get this wireless mic. I'm hoping it sounds really good. Um, because this is great. I just get to have coffee and talk and people walk past and they're like, why the hell is this dude filming himself? But it's New York. If you're going to film yourself, this is the place to do it, right? Um, what was I saying? Today, I'm going to head into the office, see the guys. We're going to get some work done. Number two, I need, I need, I need to get to Lululemon at some point to get like cold winter running gear. I'm barely surviving drinking this coffee out here. But uh, yeah, need to do that. Um, 
Number three, ooh, I got some packages coming. In fact, I got a couple of keyboards coming to the office today. Might have to unwrap those with you guys, of course. Um, I've also got this, um, this like, like a beanie with the flaps and everything thing coming to my house later today. I'm so excited about that. It's on this brand called like Banana Republic or something in New York. I don't know. Is that cool? Can you guys tell me if that's even a cool company? I don't even know. Um, what else is going on today? Oh yeah, I got rejected to a fitness class in, uh, in Greenwich Village. And um, all my colleagues got in, colleagues, all the mates in the startup got in, but I didn't. Fucking hell, man. I don't know what's going on about that. Look, I know that I'm too good looking and too fit already, and you guys would just feel bad about yourselves if I was in the class. It's all these trucks, man, it's so loud. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> got rejected. That's okay. Um, yeah, if I can just get some running gear, then that's all I need. I just want to be able to go for runs, but it's just too cold right now. Also, I've almost slipped over like 17 times, like in the past like two days, ever since it started heavily snowing. And I flew in the night before, like the first big snow came to New York. So like, I was not ready, but it was weird when I turned up, they were like throwing ice all over the road and like footpaths and everything. Like, I guess this is some like mitosis conversation or something, but like the salt just essentially like eradicates all the snow. It's great, but I'm still slipping. Dev chat. Also, have appreciated. There's a few YouTubers out here as well who have reached out, who live in New York um, and like the dev community and also just like tech community. So shout out to you guys. Nice to meet up. Maybe one day we'll meet up in person. Maybe go for a run when it's a bit warmer. Or even colder. Like, to be honest, I just need an excuse to get out because I'm, it's very easy not to go outside when it's this cold. My office building, holy damn. There's a lot of people in there who, like, I have watched for years on YouTube. And I am just, you're almost like starstruck when you see them in person because you're like, wait, you're actually a real person. And then they're just like chilling. Like they're just like making coffee next to you. And you're like, oh yeah, how's it going? It's weird. It's real weird. New York's just like that. You just see people. Ran into Casey Neistat. That was a great thing as well. Highlight of the last couple of months. He's taking his kids to school, so I didn't want to like be that guy. But I was like, hey man, love your videos. Walked on. So, you know, gotta be respectful. You know, karma. Karma's a big thing. Not gonna lie, I feel a bit lonely out here. <laughs> Such a loser. Sitting outside in the cold, drinking my coffee, talking to a camera by myself. Let me just finish this coffee. Let's get out of here. It's so cold. Oh my gosh. All right. Dev chat out. See you guys later.